What's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have the second week of PBL gameplay and we're going to be going up against Omen Jokers which is another one of Omen's teams. Now as you guys know I represent Omen so it's going to be an Omen versus Omen game. We played Tribe Invictus last week if you guys didn't watch it it's on my channel. I posted it about six days ago something around there. Uh, it was a really good matchup so make sure you guys watch that if you haven't but as you guys know, PBL is a season, so there's eight teams in it. We're going to face every team once, so it's going to be seven weeks of games. And then we're going to go into a playoff, and I believe the playoffs is about two weeks. There's going to be the semifinals and finals, and then we'll see what is happening. So with that being said, we're going to hop into the games. It was a crazy, crazy series. No spoilers are going to come. Let's just go one game at a time. Let's hop into that first one. Now here we go on to the first game, and I'm going to put the bands up at the start of every single game just so you guys know what the bands are for every map. Now we're obviously on map 1 so you guys can see the bands on screen right now. And so obviously it allows us to not play the lanes that we wanted to play. Jackson, amazing Nita, and they knew that, so they took him off of Nita and made him go Barley basically. Uh, we got Feli on one lane, we were expecting a tank on their side because they there's Nita and I believe it was Spike Band. I can't see it right now because I haven't looked at it since yesterday. But I believe those were the bands, and we were definitely expecting a tank. But So the Leon and Carl pick are really good on their part. Uh, Jack's doing a good job considering the fact that his direct counter is on his lane. Uh, Hazard's a really good bow, which is really tough for us to beat. Just because bows are really tank, you know, you can't really counter a bow at all. And he's pretty good at it, so he's going to do a good job. So, so Feli is going to go down over there. I can't really move up at all. We know Joe is going to be invisible, so Jack's going to tap him a couple times. Feli's going to end up getting the kill on him. And we're just going to be backed up. So at this point of the game, this is a really crucial point. Because I know Froggy's in the bush. I missed one of my pulls over there. I get Hazard very, very low. I know Froggy's in the bush. I know Feli has a super and it can be an easy lane win. And they have six gems. I thought Hazard had all the gems. And as you guys know, a voice chat is very important. Communication is very important during a pro game. Now they have eight gems. And I'm aiming up for Hazard. I have no clue that Froggy has gems. Like you see how close me and Froggy are. I know exactly where he is, and I would have pulled him if I knew he had gems. And at this point around now, Feli's telling me, oh, he has gems, he has gems. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go for him. So I go to the side. I help uh, help Cheppo with Joe real quick. I mean, yeah, with Joe. And I went to the side. I'm aiming my super right now, but he's just out of range, so I can't go ahead and pull it. I'm going to grab a, a few gems. So it's going to be 9 to 6 right now. I want to pull somebody, but I don't really have anyone in range for a pull right now. I'm saving the pull because I know they have to grab a gem, so I want to pull whoever just grabs that gem. You can see Master Froggy's coming up over there. Feli's going to hit his super, and Feli actually supered him out of my pull, so I wasn't able to pull him. People were saying in the chat that I definitely would have hit him if I had if uh, Feli didn't super him, so that's really unfortunate for our part. Uh, we are a couple seconds too late in order to tie the game, so I'm just going to try and get my pull, but there's nothing that I can do. Joe played really well, and that's going to be the end of the first game, and we're going to be down 1-0 in this best of seven. So going into the second match on Kaboom Cannon, as you guys can see, Jesse and Nita are banned again. They're trying to shut down Jack from playing from playing the Gene, I mean for playing Nita, and then we banned Jesse because we had a comp in mind. We didn't end up running it, but... That required uh, the uh, the Jesse to be taken out, and that's what we did. So really quickly, you guys are going to see Feli going down. And Jack and Dylan are trying to have a 1v1 cult, basically. Master Froggy is kind of getting in the way of that. The defense we have is going kind of well. You can see Dylan's getting really aggressive, so he's going to be taken out over there by a mix of Feli and Jack. And they're going to be a little bit backed up because of it. Feli and Jack both being very weak. I went on to joke and I was able to spin and get him, and then I was also able to get basically the kill on Froggy, but Chepo did hit that last shot and was able to get that kill. So we now have the middle possession, which is what really matters in this, obviously whoever can hold middle ground. I was able to take out Dylan really well. Chepo, I don't really know what that super was, I don't know if he was aiming for somebody, but I'm pretty sure he was just trying to take out the, uh, the grass on that right side. You can see Dylan kind of just chilling, going to get Chepo. You can see Chepo's trying to take out Master Froggy. I'm just on that left side kind of trying to deal with Joe. And Joe does have a little bit of a range advantage on me. So if he does play the Pam properly, he can do a really good job against the Carl. Although if he gets too close, Carl then becomes really, really lethal against that Pam. So you can see Dylan and Chepo are finally getting their 1v1 off as Colt. You can see Chepo also gets a really nice super over there that A breaks the wall and B gets Master Froggy pretty low. Now I did get backed up a little bit by Joe and Feli's just going to come back to help me out. We're each getting a few shots, but not really doing too much damage. You guys can see Feli going down, and now they have two people coming at our safe. You can see Jack's also on their safe doing a lot of work. I'm going to fire a shot at Joe, and then I'm going to start rolling in. Feli was able to get that kill. 
and then we were able to get Master Froggy pretty low. So you guys can see it's 36% that they've done to the 71% that we've done. Jack just went down. I was able to get Froggy and they have middle grass right now. I'm going to go down for the first time in the game. So they're really putting on a lot of pressure and it's not looking good for us. That was a really good super over there by Jack. Jack was also to get Joe over there. So that allowed us to get this middle ground over here. Now you can see Froggy's going to spin. I have to do my best to protect Jack because Jack is our damage to the safe and we have to keep Jack alive no matter what. So you guys can see Jack's moving up right here. Dylan does have his super and if he takes out Jack, it's basically going to be the end of the game for us. We're down like 45%, so it's really not looking good. I'm able to get Joker really low and they're just going to go in on the safe. You can see Chepo is just hammering the safe. Feli is just going at the safe. I have my spin. I go at it. Feli is going to spray the safe. And we're actually able to somehow, I don't know how, sneak away with a victory on this map to tie it up at 1-1. Now, if we were down 2-0, that would be a huge blow. And that would be really, really tough to come back from. But Chepo actually had a really, really clutch super at the end of the game. Feli played really well. I think I played pretty well. And we were able to just barely sneak away with that victory. So it's 1-1 right now. Brawl Ball is the next game. Let's hop into it. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And you guys know how confident of a gene i am so i'm gonna go with the gene so spike and carl are banned so there's no like meta carl right here we both decided to go with the barley and i'm super excited there's that there's no carl because i can basically pull anybody i want i mean hazard's not the greatest pull in the world but i could pull him and it could lead to a lot of success so you can see i'm doing a good job over there on dylan i'm just going to grab him real quick and be able to take him out you can see Jeppo's pushing his lane back really well we have patchy playing this game instead of Feli because patchy is super good at brawl ball we were able to take out hazard together we almost had a goal, but we're going to back up and just take our time with it because we have the uh, we have possession. You guys can see Jack again using his super, clearing out everyone to the middle or to the left side. Patchy's got his bear, so it's looking like a really good spot for us right now. Dylan one shot, I'm just going to be able to pull him and get that. You can see Patchy over there on Hazard, and I'm just going to be able to take out Zara. And Patchy's just going to shoot it in there, and we're able to get that quick one to nothing lead. So after this part... Map's kind of getting a little bit more open. I missed my pull on Zara. I feel like if I got my pull on Zara over there with the way that Jack is handling Hazard at the moment, we could have had a three on two. Hazard was already low. We would have just won the game right there. You guys can see Chepo did get a little bit aggressive over there. I don't know how he didn't get hit by that barley shot, to be honest, but I guess it happens. You know, they had a really good push over here. We You have to spam that turret when it's out or you're so you're just in trouble if you don't spam that turret. Before Patchy goes out, he's able to get a couple shots off on Zara. I was able to make the save over there on Dylan, and I almost walked it in my net over here, Loki. I wasn't really looking, and then I looked down, I'm like, oh, I'm in my net, and Zara's just going to go down over there. Chepo basically got the kill, but I got the last shot on him. And now you can see us controlling that middle right now. 50 seconds left in the game, and you can see Chepo's doing a really good job. I'm just still on that gene. Uh, and the ball's passed up to Hazard. Now, Hazard knows I have my pull, so he does a hesitation back, so... I wouldn't pull him at the very last second i did pull a hazard and that is going to force me to die but i had to get that pull off in order to for them to not score so you can see patchy's going in and a really good shot over here by zara to squeak it into the corner on jack that was really good that's something i wouldn't have done but like still i was a really really high iq play by zara and really good play so i was able to pull zara over here we were able to get that kill alongside patchy and patchy's also going to be able to get the kill over there on hazard so right now we got that three on two this should be a 100% goal. Patchy definitely could have walked that one in. I don't know why he shot it, but you know, he did. Good try on him. We were able to get Pat, uh, we were able to get Zara down. Jack's doing a really good job on Hazard. I'm able to double tap him real quick. I'm supposed to get the ball over here and pass it to Jack, but you can see they're coming out with invincibility, so Jack's just kind of backing off. I'm able to pull Zara over here, and Patchy being a great goal scorer is going to walk up and bury that in the net, and this is going to give us the 2-1 to one lead in in the set so right now we're doing a really good job you know we're really confident because we have siege coming up which i i think is our best mode and then we have another gem grab which even though we lost i think is like our second best mode so let's hop into those games and let's see what happens in this series so here we go into the second game and so i'm just going to check the bands real quick right so the bands we have for this one are leon and carl so we thought that we were going to run anita and chepa wanted to to penny this game i think he wanted to penny against dylan so we let him penny penny's not the worst choice in the world so you can see jigsaw on that side now they recently buffed jig uh not jigsaw sorry i wish they buffed jigsaw they they recently buffed frank so that frank actually does what he used to do which he would stun the safe for like five seconds or three seconds however long it was and that led to your pushes being a lot better so we decided that we we're going to go with the frank for those one push and really big push abilities you can see czar and me are having a battle i think throughout the entire game 
on the right lane at least Zara only hit me once or twice um, I'm up here just kind of being on an aggro position I have my super we're able to get that first bot in a pretty convincing manner so we're doing a really good job I don't really know where Joker is going over here he's kind of just running off uh, Zara's trying to come on, come on to me on the right side but I'm able to hold it off I'm just going to take a little shot over there just in case if the penny hits me I'm going to be two shot to it instead of one so I'm going to use my super on the safe obviously Jigsaw is going to have a really good super it's going to stun the safe and we're looking really good over here uh, Jigsaw did run away though. I think if Jigsaw did stay in there, we would have been able to get the one push. I'm not really sure. But either way, you know, it didn't happen, so let's not dwell on that. So right here we have a bear going at Chepo. So Chepo's just gonna back up. I helped him a little bit with it. And at this point, Zar does have position. He's gonna have a nice super, and Chepo's gonna go in a very aggro position and likely going to go down. Yeah, he is gonna go down over there. I was able to get Chepo, uh, I mean Zar really low though after he did heal up. Although he is healing just by chucking shots towards us, so he is doing a good job. It does look at this point like they're going to be able to get the second bot, and I just have to back up and chill over here because I have to regen, obviously. And you can see Chepo's doing a good job, but he leaves Joe one, sh one shot, so I'm just going to go to this side because I feel like Chepo is getting, not out lane, but he, he's clearly being countered over here. So I went over to this side, and then I, I kind of just got trapped between Joker and a bear. And I love to watch myself, but basically what happens, we just run in a circle and Joe leaves me. And I'm actually very interested to see what happens here because this is my first time seeing it. So you guys can see they're absolutely wailing at the safe, but Joe is on me. And then you have Jigsaw standing right in front of the safe. And you don't want to do that against the Carl because it let them do... Oh, I didn't even realize the number. That was ridiculous. They did 4.5 thousand damage per, jet, per penny shot because Jigsaw was standing in front of the safe. I, I actually saw a number coming up from the Ike, 6,000 something. Like, I didn't, How is that even possible? I really didn't know that was possible, so, like, GG's to them. Uh, I feel like we could have one pushed them if Jigsaw stayed in the stayed in on and going aggro. We would have been able to get the one push, as well as if he didn't stay on the save and let Penny just do a ridiculous amount of damage. We also would have been able to win. So a little bit of a mistake by Jigsaw over there. If you guys want to talk, talk a little bit about him in the comments, you know, this is your opportunity because he did mess up in a league where it's really important to win. So definitely not the best play by Jigsaw. He is gonna play the next match though in four squared. The set is tied two to two. Let's hop into there and let's see if Jigsaw can redeem himself. So here we go, tied two to the bands for this map are Bow and Spike. So obviously I got that G in mid, which I'm super confident in. We have Jigsaw on Carl, which is about the only brawler he can play at this point in Brawl Stars. And we have Jack on Marley. And even though Jack is being countered by that Mortis, I'm super, super confident in his ability. So I'm able to take out Joe pretty easily over there in the middle. And you can see Master Froggy just kind of on that side doing his own thing. I left Master Froggy to Chepo because I thought Chepo would be able to get that kill pretty easily. You can see Joe has super and Joe's just going to go ahead and pull Jigsaw, which you don't really want to pull a Carl. But if the Carl, if you're, if you are beside your teammate, obviously it's not the worst thing in the world because you'll be able to take it out. Now I did waste my pull over there on the Mortis. I saw Jack was having a really tough time with him and he wasn't able to finish him off. So I wanted to just pull him, but I did waste my pull. So Joe's going to pull Jigsaw alone, which I definitely wouldn't recommend doing. You're going to see Jigsaw is also going to be going up here against froggy and he's gonna do a really good job at killing him but he's actually gonna go down and get czar to one shot which i'm easily just able obviously to just walk up and finish him so you can see joe is over here i'm just gonna get that quick pull on joe because chepo is beside me and we're gonna be able to get that easy kill now master froggy is gonna be chasing down uh chepo but we know we're gonna be able to kill him so really good play over there by jigsaw jigsaw is then gonna super out he's gonna get czar pretty low and you're going to see Chepo's working on him now. The only threat to us really is Joe. So I just made a quick pull over there, made sure he wasn't able to pull us. Just pull him first and we were able to get him. Really good play over there by Chepo to just super us. And just for fun, I, you know, I just supered Zar. Was able, was not able to get the kill, but this is a pretty convincing like 10-0 game. Like we played this one super, super well. Jig did get the star player, so he did get a little bit of redemption for basically throwing the last game. And it's 3-2 to two at this point, so we only need one more and able to take away and get that dub and be go and go 2 and 0 which would put us in first place on the season. So let's hop into that 6th game and let's see if we're able to make that happen. So here we go into the 6th game. Now the bans for this map are Bull and Rico which are also going to be on the screen obviously. Just wanted to let you guys know. Just in case you guys don't really feel like looking at the screen. 
Um, but uh, but yeah, so you're going to see I'm leaning against Spike over here. And obviously, normally, that's a really good matchup for Carl. But it's super, super tough because of the angles that Froggy has. You know, he has some really good RNG angles, which, again, obviously aren't RNG, but that's what we all still call them. So I'm just going to pinch him really quickly with Feli. And on Feli's last shot, he is going to be able to get him. I'm just going to go above over here because I don't want to be in this download area with the Spike. I want to be in an aggro position. And so Master Froggy is going to be on my side. So we're going to have Zar moving over here. I'm able to just grab that kill real quick. Help out Feli. And we have big position over here. At this point, I'm telling Feli to try and see if he can get Master Froggy. Master Froggy is going to be down to one shot. And guys, you're going to see Chepo absolutely just going off on Joe. As you guys know, Colt is one of like the five brawlers that Jack is just an absolute god at. So, yeah. Like, he's just unreal at him. So at this point... Rog is going to use the super, and I don't really want to use my super in an aggro position because I'm just going to waste it and die when I can just two-shot Master Froggy, so I'm just going to use it to retreat. Um, if I wanted to kill a tank, I'd use my super that way, and you'll see something like that later, but there's no point over here. Now, at this point, Froggy had full health, and I had 32, and I actually killed him and only died because of an RNG, so that's a little bit sad that I was that I am going to go down in that area because I did pretty badly outplay him at that area, but, you know, not bad. So you're going to see Joe on me over here. I'm just going to be rolling on him, and I am going to be able to get that kill on Joe. Frog is going to go up, and I don't really know what he's doing over here. Jack kind of missed a few shots over there. But usually a spike isn't supposed to go that aggro, so he's just put in a corner. I'm able to get Zara over there, and Frog is actually going off over there. Um, you can see Joe has his super, and we're just waiting for him to jump on the safe. He's going to do so, and I'm going to roll right on him. I'm going to move over here to the side and be able to get that kill on him. Finally, we're able to take out Master Froggy. And you guys can see Zara is just shooting that safe, myself and Feli. Trying to defend. We're able to hit him with all the shots we can, but the safe goes down to 7%. It's already not looking good at this area or at this time. So you can see Jack's kind of just going off on him. I'm going, to, I'm going to be able to get Joker Joe. And at this point, just like the last siege, I mean the last heist game, like maybe it's possible to get that comeback. It's going to be a long run. But our DPS, which is Jack, is going to go down at this point. I'm going to go aggro. I have to try and do something, but I wasn't able to do it. Uh, Feli is going to go down to Master Froggy over there. And Joe's just going to jump on the safe and be able to take it out. So we're going to be going to a Game 7 on Triple Dribble. Now, this is not what we like. You know, you definitely don't want to get it all to one game, especially when you feel like you are the better team. No, no offense to them, but I do feel like we're the best team in PBL. So we definitely don't ever want to get to a game seven, but that's what we're gonna. That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be Spike and Rico banned. So let's hop into this final game and see what happens. All right, so here we go. So we have Patchy back in the game now. Patchy does have an 100% win rate so far in PBL up to this point. He's an entire one and zero. Oh, so we're trusting that win rate over here. He's also an amazing raw ball player. So. Obviously, we're going to be putting him in. So, Jack's having a difficult time over here so far against Zara. Jack, though, like, I have 100% confidence in that he's going to be able to somehow win his lane. So, I'm just going to use my super. I was able to take out Froggy, and I was also able to get Dylan. So, Jack now put himself in an advantageous position just by letting us kind of do our thing, taking his time, and then moving up. Uh, he's a really, really high IQ player. He, he knows when to go in and when to go back, so... He's doing a good job. So over here, I did hit a box. I kind of, like, failed on that one. I should have been able to get Froggy. I don't know how I did it. But you can see Jack went up because I went up and I was and he thought I was going to be able to get the kill. So that was kind of my fault that he did go down over there. At this point, I, I had a play over here and it, it really did almost work. So you can see I'm kind of laying against Froggy. Nobody on their team really wants to grab the ball. They're all moving up and going kind of aggro. Uh, Zara's going to get a super. No one's grabbing the ball. They're just pushing back. And I'm like, well, there's a ball over there. Let me spin towards that ball. So I begin to spin. I'm running all or I'm rushing all the way up. And I was almost able to grab it. Good play over there by Froggy. I was able to take him out, but, you know, I, I almost had that goal. Froggy started moving just before I was able to get that super. And I think if I was one second earlier, I actually would have been able to grab that goal. So you can see we have Patchy kind of chilling, doing his thing as the mid. I'm winning my lane for basically the entirety of this. And Jack's getting like 2v1 at this point. So you can see Froggy's getting backed up over here. I'm able to hit him. Dylan's going to be one shot. Froggy at this point is also one shot. I'm just going to get a really easy shot over there on Froggy gonna take my time i'm gonna be able to get dylan and we're obviously gonna get a really easy pinch going on czar and then there we go we're able to get our first goal with 45 seconds left now we have lane right now and jack's just going up he's he's just w w keying czar he's just going for it and you can see he actually gets pushed back decently well by czar and i went over here to help jack out with czar just to get him in a pinch position and jack's able to get him down i'm gonna use my super and i was able to get one kill i was able to get dylan like half health and this is kind of a misplay. Like, Jack went over to the side. I don't know why. 
when that allowed Dylan to get the goal. So now we're going to be going into the finals and and just just look at what's happening here. Jack's like W keying right now. He's getting two v one, and at this point he's just he's gonna go down. He's gonna die. And you can see Dylan is kind of just like doing his own thing. He's dominating. I was able to get a super off. And at this point, they could have had the goal, but I was just able to hit Czar. And Jack was able to get a couple shots. And oh my God, they were they were able to score. They were really able to score over there. Like we 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 really should have lost, to be honest. That was super super close. You can see Patchy and Jack pinching Master Froggy over there. I see two people are really close to each other. One of them is a Barley and can't really hurt me. So I'm just going to spin on both of them. I would say I'm able to kill both of them along with the help of one shot from Jack. And then Jack's just going to be... Jack's just going to be Jack. And he's going to get that BM. He's going to do a little bit of spin. Put that ball in the net. And that's going to be the end of the series. What a crazy, crazy series. I, like, I can't believe this one went to seven games. But it, it was super, super fun to play. Uh, all these guys are definitely really good players. And shout out to Joe... Because I know Joe does work really, really hard on their comps, on bands, and he really does a lot for that team. So, huge shout out for him. But basically, that's going to be it for today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the second week of PBL. Um, I noticed I have a lot of competitive gameplay coming out and not a lot of live matches. And you guys are kind of missing those live matches. So, I'm definitely going to be able to get those out shortly. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. So, like always... Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. That's going to be it for today. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.